my follow up question is on you talked about him educating people and also conviction and courage he showed a lot of conviction and courage so could you tell us about uh, probably a specific instance uh, which you thought that uh, represented uh, conviction and courage for him uh, as a leader two very early instances that come to my mind are uh, the following uh, the first was uh, an all india human rights campaign that was held at the turn of the millennium uh, i think this was in in the winter of 1999 uh, there was this human rights conference uh, at panchgani in maharashtra and uh, there was a workshop on disabilities uh, led by ncpdb organized uh, by the ncpdb and uh, javed was javed was a, a a speaker in one of the plenaries um, and uh, i i recall very very vividly that javed had to lobby very hard with the organizers of this conference to say that they could not possibly hold a conference on human rights without having a uh, having a separate platform a separate um, focus on disabilities and and uh, well it was it was it was obviously very hard for uh, the organizers of this conference uh, not to include disability on their on their you know on the on the on the on the, on the human rights on the conference um, agenda therefore we had this uh, 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 workshop uh, on disability that javed organized um this was one of many workshops during that week long conference um a big highlight of uh, that week's conference uh was the plenary on a saturday morning i can't remember exactly the date but it was a saturday and uh, there were three speakers in that plenary uh, the first was uh, vandana shiva she was speaking about the right to food and food insecurity hunger and malnutrition and all the allied teams around the right to food and then the next speaker on the plenary of the morning was uh, the giant of a uh, uh, jurist and a former justice of the supreme court uh, late v r krishnayer uh, both mr Krishnayar and Vandana Bedi made very eloquent presentations uh, in their own way, and the last speaker on the plenary was Javed Abidi. Uh, I think I had never before heard Javed. I. interacted uh, a fair bit uh, with him by then but i never heard him so i was actually 
um, very eager to listen to him. And uh, I was telling myself, I wouldn't have the courage to go to speak, to go to the podium to speak after Mr. V. R. Krishnayar and uh, uh, Vandana Shiva. What happened over the next half an hour was really out of the world. I think I have not heard anybody who can speak on disabilities with such clarity, authority, and lucidity like Javed Abidi. He was very powerful with that speech. Absolutely confident he was. And uh, he drew a lot of applause from the audience. I mean, he, could, he couldn't have done a better job of putting disability uh, on, the, on the human rights agenda than what he did that day. I'll give you, uh, I mean, I must uh, recall the, the very powerful story that he recounted, two anecdotes that he recounted to, towards the end of his presentation. Uh, he said, let me end with a story. And then he went on to say, uh, around April or March, there was a gentleman from Delhi who had to have his knee replacement surgery uh, performed. He had to have his knee replaced. And his surgeon was somebody from the United States. And that surgeon insisted that this surgery could be performed. Rather, he would be able to perform that surgery for this gentleman only in a hospital in Mumbai. And uh, Javed said, well, the, 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 the gentleman decided to travel to Bombay and uh, the gentleman used the ambu lifts and the aisle chairs that was installed um, in the uh, uh, Indira Gandhi airport. And also while, while landing at Bombay, he also had to use uh, the, the ambu lift and the aisle chair. Now the ambulift and the aisle chair were installed in, in, in Mumbai and Delhi, among other cities then, after a heroic legal battle that Javed Abidi had won in 1998, if I remember right, in the Supreme Court, where he he pleaded with the government, uh, with, the, with, the, with the Supreme Court to ask the government, rather to ask Indian Airlines to install ambulifts and uh, uh, aisle chairs at airports. That was the victory that uh, uh, he had won in 1998. And he was talking about this very same ambulifts and uh, aisle chairs that this gentleman um, uh, used to, to, to travel to Bombay while, you know, while flying to Bombay. And at the end of this story came uh, the, the, the revelation that the gentleman's job description was Prime Minister of India and the gentleman in question was Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And then he went on to narrate another 
uh, recount another uh, anecdote, a very similar anecdote, uh, that of uh, uh, another gentleman flying to Bombay from Delhi also to have a knee replacement surgery and probably also, um, you know, uh, the surgery was conducted by, uh, uh, by uh, the same surgeon from uh, the United States and were also insisted that the surgery he could perform only in this hospital in Mumbai. And the gentleman in, in, in question then was, was Mr. Soli Sorabji and who was the Attorney General of India around the same time. And people were simply flabbergasted when he recounted these two anecdotes and the way he, he, he presented them. And uh, I, I was simply just bowled over when I heard his presentation. So I don't think... Uh, I mean, there have been many, many such examples of Javed's courage of conviction. You know, what when I say Javed's courage of conviction, I mean his very, very profound conviction that disabled people were given the right circumstances and given equal opportunities with uh, everybody else were as capable as anybody to, to work or to excel in whatever uh, domain of activity that was their choice. And this was a very, very deep-seated conviction, uh, which, uh, which I, I, I really suspect how many, how many disabled people or even non-disabled people have that depth of conviction on this very issue that disabled people could, under the right circumstances and given the, you know, um, the right opportunities that they could deliver as well as anybody else. I'm not sure that uh, there are many people who, who had that depth of conviction that Javed had and had and exhibited that conviction time and time again um, uh, against so many odds. So that is something about his, his courage of conviction. Javed Abdi Foundation, JAF, which also stands for Journalism, Advocacy and Fun. Please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, like, comment and share.